Hey, it's Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms. And one of my favorite things to do on the farm, not a fan of the colder weather, but uh, when uh, you get into February, in this case, January, a uh, thing that I love doing and is, is so much fun. As you can see, I've got a five gallon bucket. I've got a drill. I've got some tubing. I've got a lid for the bucket. And I got a black walnut tree in front of me. We're going to make some black walnut syrup. Now, a lot of people, you think of syrup, pretty much it's just uh, maple syrup. It's what most people think about. And, you know, maple syrup's good, but that's not the only syrup or the only trees that you can do syrup from. Uh, we do them from birch. We do them from maple, box elder. Uh, do them from hickory trees, which hickory tree, it's a, it's a little different. We actually make it from the bark. But black walnut is my favorite. I think it's got a better taste. You tend to get more syrup out of the sap from black walnut than from maple anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and start setting up and tapping these trees. I've got one already done and I've got two more buckets we're gonna set up here and I'll show you how we're gonna do it. Okay, the tapping part is really easy. You get a drill, you wanna make sure you got the right bit. There's a couple different ways that, uh, a couple different kind of taps that you can use. I have uh, the type that drip into the bucket. Those are okay, but if you end up getting snow or rain, you get wa extra water in there. Uh, so what I have is, uh, you get these on eBay and Amazon. They're, I believe, like for surgical tubing. They work great. Grab your drill. You go to your walnut tree. You want to get where the uh, where it gets a lot of sun because that makes a big difference on how much sap you get because as uh, the temperatures cool at night, when you get warm days, when they cool at night, the sap will go down to the bottom of the tree. As the sun hits it and it warms up, the sap will go up to the top. And that's how you're catching the sap. So I've got kind of a, kind of a double walnut tree here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit them both. I'm gonna go in a little bit at an angle. You wanna go about an inch and a half, two inches in. I didn't do it this time. Now normally when I do this, what I do is uh, I, uh, I'll put a piece of tape at the depth of where I wanna go. I did not do that today. I probably should have, but uh, it don't matter. Okay, so I have that. Now I'm gonna grab my surgical tubing. First hole is right here. And uh, that drill bit's just a little small, but you can always uh, go back in. Kind of waller it out a little bit. You want a tight fit, but not super tight. That's pretty much it's going in. And usually I bring a hammer. I don't have a hammer with me today, but uh, we'll make do. Got a nice tight fit. Put the, the other one in and I'm probably gonna have to waller this hole out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Grab my other one. Tap it in a little bit, get my bucket. Five gallon bucket, and I've drilled a hole in the lid of the bucket. That kind of helps keep bugs, water, all that stuff from, from getting in there. And I'm gonna run my line in. As you can see, we got Sasquatch helping us today. Run my lines in and just leave them. And that gets about average, maybe a five gallon bucket will fill up once or twice a week. So we'll put several buckets out to start collecting because it does take a good bit of sap to make any kind of syrup at all. Now I've got one that I put in a few days ago. We're gonna walk over there and we'll take a look at 
how much sap we've gotten just in two days. Now this one here, it's Tuesday morning, about nine o'clock in the morning. I put this out Sunday afternoon. And uh, you know, just in a couple of days, it's a little less than a quarter full. Hasn't been as uh, cold at night, so the sap hasn't been moving down as much. But, you know, as you get temperature fluctuation, we'll get the way the, the temperature has been going. We'll probably get most of January and February, maybe a good bit of uh, March to collect sap. So we should have a good year if this temperature keeps going like it does. But that's how you collect the sap. I'm going to go ahead and post this video on. And uh, as we start collecting and start boiling it down and actually making the syrup, I'm going to add more videos on the step-by-step. -step, and then I'll probably do one video that has all of them together. So it's Matt the Momo Hunter from McGee Farms. If you found this helpful, if you enjoyed the videos, please consider giving us a uh, subscribing to our channel. Maybe giving us a like, a comment share it with your friends. It's appreciated and it helps out the channel.